that is a big breakfast. Texas size, but I do say so myself. Holy jumpers. Joel Hans here, and today we're going to be in San Antonio, Texas at a place called the Magnolia Pancake House. So very, very popular pancake house in San Antonio, and it is recently their 22nd year anniversary, if that makes, yeah, 22, 22nd year anniversary. Um, and to celebrate it, they're offering this giant food challenge. Uh, it is a Texas-sized breakfast challenge, and this thing is Wow, that's all I can say. I've seen photos of people like holding this board and this thing is giant. So for the challenge, you only have 22 minutes, get it like 22 second anniversary, 22 minutes to complete, which is this giant fauna something, I'll, big like apple dessert pancake pie looking thing. You then have a whole bunch of eggs, you have a whole bunch of bacon, you have what looks like corned beef or hash browns, you have their uh, house made egg benedicts. They also do things like, uh, it's a couple different other meats. I think it might be a sausage and a Canadian bacon. I'll, I'll give you the exact details here just momentarily. But this giant breakfast is absolutely insane. It's so huge. Again, I think the real diff difficulty is only gonna be 22 minutes. Um, if you complete it in the 22 minutes, you actually get it for free, which is awesome. Currently it is unbeaten. And if you fail, you gotta pay for the meal, which I think is somewhere between 60 and $80. But yeah, so with that, let's go have some fun, eat some food. Very popular breakfast spot in San Antonio. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I like breakfast foods. Actually, let me know if you like breakfast food down below real quick. And at that, let's go see if we can complete this unbeaten breakfast challenge. Hi everyone, so here we are with a giant, giant, giant breakfast. Like, look at this thing. This is legitimately like, I don't know, however many feet this board is. Um, it is called the full house breakfast for a reason. Of course, you know, haha, ha, pancake house, but this thing is definitely very, very, very full. And not to mention, this is Texas's biggest breakfast challenge. So this thing is just nuts. So what we have in front of me, I had uh, to choose four eggs. I chose them all just kind of like over easy, like runny yolks, whatever. I had to pick a eggs benedict. So I have the two portions of the uh, Southern Benny here, which is actually a house smoked pulled pork, or house made barbecue sauce, plus the hollandaise sauce, and the eggs, of course. I have this fauna kuchen, yes, that is the proper pronunciation. I had to practice that one a few times, which is essentially a giant apple pancake. It's called a fauna kuchen, which in German, I guess, translates to pancake. Uh, so what it is in here is essentially a heavily Granny Smith apple-based pancake, cinnamon, sugar, all the above. It was with some whipped cream on top, it's melted a little bit, nonetheless, it looks very delicious. Uh, we have a serving of their French toast. I went with the seasonal one right now, which is the whole wheat pumpkin French toast, which is awesome. It generally also comes with a cranberry chutney and a uh, cream cheese icing, got it on the side instead. I had to go with the uh, the couple of their meats, so I got the serving of the sausage, which two sausage uh, patties. These are actually uh, their like house proprietary blend. I have some of their house cured Canadian bacon, guys. Yes, so there's three pieces of that. That's a big serving. These are some thick pieces, and then the serving of the traditional applewood smoked bacon. I then have the freaking serving of their house made grits, which again, this is giant this is so many items and then i have their uh house made corned beef hash which they make the corned beef in house they actually cure it they smoke it it's a 28 day process which is nuts so i'm super excited i'm a little nervous we don't got a lot of time and this is a lot of food but at uh, that we're gonna start here just momentarily i'm definitely doing the belt for this and we're going to need the room this is so big and this thing is so heavy and so dense it looks delicious but man it is sticky sweet and i'm sure my uh my blood sugars will be feeling that for this one guys but yeah, let's start with the sausage patty how about that let's get rock and roll and have a five four three two one let us eat Thank you. 
Nice taste of sausage. Really tradition tasting. Um, breakfast sausage. It is a very like distinct flavor, you know what I'm saying? I like it though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here taking on a Texas size breakfast challenge. In fact, this might even be a bigger than Texas size breakfast challenge. Try this. House made Canadian bacon. I'm Canadian after all. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's just like, this is a full table. I keep it smoky on this. Love it. So in here celebrating the 22 years of being open, we are here doing the 22 challenge here at Magnolia. That's definitely what is setting us apart. The smokiest Canadian bacon ever. And I approve. Really, really good some hot sauce. Got some Cholua here. A little more anticipated, but I'll take it. And sh hot sauce is okay on everything down here in Texas. Mm. Oh yeah. So with such a variety of items in front of us in only 22 minutes, I knew I was gonna have to get after this because while I'm sure everything was going to be delicious, or at least I had hoped, it smelled and looked delicious, that is for sure, and I had heard absolutely amazing things about this place. There was just so much food in front of us. That Fannekuchen was massive. We had all the eggs, we had the bennies, we had all the meats. And uh, let's just say I knew we, it was going to be well, a fun one, a delicious one, but also a tough one. I'm going to use this chair for my drinks. That'll work, that'll work good. The way I can focus. Gotcha. Thank you. I'm going to hand over these plates, man, and get them out the way here. Uh, they're okay for now. Thanks so much, bro. That's one thing for sure, though, guys. There's a lot of, like, there's so many items on this thing. I'm gonna start like stacking them, it's, like mentally, it's, there's a lot. I'm gonna go with these eggs, it's a good place to go. Put those bennies up front. Lovely looking pumpkin French toast. Guys, this is a, uh, I think it's gonna get real interesting once we get to these items. Those are going to be a little more complex, but nonetheless, I mean, it's a sunny side up egg. Delicious. Throw some bacon in that. Mm. That's big. Real quick though, I don't really eat breakfast foods often, but when I do, I really like them. So let me know your favorite breakfast food down below in a comment. Actually, that's delicious. I like the, uh, the kind of like egg sandwich vibe. So as we started with some of the meats, uh, I thought it was really interesting. They do their own corned beef. They do their own Canadian bacon in-house. I think it's very uncommon for any establishment to kind of cure and do their own meats nowadays. Well, I will say, I it's crispy or soft bacon. Let me know your uh, favorite down below. They also smoke their own meats in house, um, like the pulled pork we had on those bennies there. So really kind of giving interesting options. I'm team in the middle. I really like the fact that they kind of had a little bit of a fusion or different flair into some of this traditional American cuisine, such as like the pulled pork on the eggs benny. I'm pretty sure they had one with um, either brisket or fried chicken as well. Of course, we got the corn beef up in here. Next, I'll probably go with this. Corn beef hash. I've never actually had corn beef hash, but I was like potatoes, obviously corn beef, onions. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's almost like a. It's almost like a hash brown to that. Mmm. But that corn beef. Woo. Guys. That beautiful cured meat. You get that like allspice kind of. Yeah. I think there's some clove action in there. I, I, I thought it was gonna be like, it's like in this patty. There's a really nice like 
texture to it. It's kind of soft, kind of crisp. It's very rich. This would be like to put hot sauce on it too. I'll try that. Great corned beef flavor though. Mm. All right. Hot sauce, I think, goes good in everything. But, this is very nice, Jason. And I think some of the craziest kind of desserty, sweet breakfast fare and options I have ever seen in my life. We're I think about six minutes, 15 seconds in, if I'm not mistaken. Whew. Definitely a good amount of food. We'll get into the Fonacuca, the French toast, and the Benny next. But that everybody, we we're hoping to get that meal for free. Let's try this Southern Benny. I just make sure barbecue sauce should I need it. So guys, holiday sauce. This is actually on a biscuit. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. It's on a biscuit versus a um, uh, ooh, excuse me, English muffin. So I am excited to try this. I do love smoked meats. Excuse me, comments to the chef. Mm, how's my barbecue sauce? Let's right, see what it's all about. This could get a little messy, everybody. Oh my god. Look at that beautiful imagery. That is a runny yolk. Mm, that barbecue sauce, there's a, the riches of that pulled pork too. So ultimately, let's see if we can beat this undefeated giant breakfast challenge. Definitely tomato based barbecue sauce. It's very, very nice. I think the uh, way to describe it, it's like a lovely, almost like pulled pork sandwich with a runny yolk. It works. Definitely rich though. Very, very filling. Woo! That is for sure. Oh my god, this thing is massive. It's pretty intimidating. Maybe I'll try this pumpkin French toast next. Looks good. Oh, it smells like uh it smells like pumpkin. It's like a it's more like a banana bread. It's like that kind of a bread. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Okay. Guys, that is so moist, so rich. I definitely approve. It is sweet though. I'm trying this uh, cream cheese icing. Mmm. Chutney. I figured this would be lighter, but Who's that heavy item? And then there are two. Bring back Pluto. Let me know if you know that reference. All right. Try this Fonda Kuchen. Wow. Guys, you see how drippy and syrupy that is? Woo! Let's see what this is all about. This is actually still warm. Like, surprisingly so. That means it holds the heat real well. Take those napkins right here. Woo! I tell you, I'm filling up. I feel my blood sugar rising. Let's try this delicious looking apple pancake. Oh yes, money, money. It is so sweet, but it is like savory. I got the loveliness of the apple. 
There's a nice crispy, crunchy texture on, on pieces. I gotta say though, this thing is thick. Man, you just, again, this is another, you don't need another one of these. Oh my gosh, heavy. This thing got away close to two pounds. It is just moist, drippy, juicy. Woo. Delicious though, but oh my gosh. Oh. Not calorie free either. We're about 17, 15 in, if I'm not mistaken. Woo. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. Woo. A lot of food. Woo. That was so good. But man, it was rich. Like I said, keeper. Definitely try with me. You could probably split that with a few people. You definitely don't need a full for yourself. Oh my lord. Woo. Very good though, guys, but oh. Oh. Excuse me. Really, comments for chef. Uh, excuse me. This is the house made grits. They're known for these things. Tastes like peanuts. And that's it, we're done right there. Oh my gosh, Woo. What was the time of that, my friend? I had 20, 40, 20 minutes and 40 seconds. 20 minutes, 40 seconds, guys, the official time. So I gotta tell you, there's a reason why no one's been able to eat that before. That thing was absolutely massive. I mean, I think what a cool way to celebrate their 22nd anniversary by having such a giant food challenge. I mean, only 22 minutes, so that is, that is tough. That was, delicious but dense and heavy and this board is this is massive i mean look at the width of me look at the width of this board so huge thanks to all the staff here this was super awesome they did allow me because there was like they came by earlier and there was literally like an hour and a half wait where they said come by at two and they closed so i appreciate them getting me in here um when it closed so it was a lot quieter and super cool they actually allowed me to do it off hours like that because Definitely to come on the weekend, everybody. There is gonna be an out, potentially an hour to two hour wait. So come in advance, come be prepared. Maybe you can make a reservation, but it was well worth it. Out of everything here, I have to, I do have to say, my favorite was the Fonacuca. Excuse me, that was to die for. It was sweet, it was appley, it was soft in certain parts, delicious crisp apple pieces in certain parts. I almost describe it kind of almost like a funnel cake. So it's kind of one of those breakfast items. I'd say like, yeah, it's breakfast, but it could honestly probably pass as like dessert and or an anytime item, maybe a brunch, I don't know what you want to call it, brunch, dessert, whatever it was, but that was awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, I got no complaints. Everything was really good. That uh, French toast was really nice. The uh, uh, Benedict's were great. That pulled pork that they smoke is delicious. 
I have no complaints, guys. So glad we do get the roughly 60, 62-ish dollar meal for free. And uh, that's about it. Happy 22 years to Pancake House. Hopefully they'll get another 22, at least more. Family business, guys, three locations. And uh, yeah, San Antonio, it's been a pleasure, guys. Till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Happy, healthy, hungry, my fingers don't work. Have a lovely day. And uh, that's about it, guys, so. Stopping by for breakfast, brunch, all the above. And I don't even know if I can reach the camera. Ugh. So I'm just gonna say have a lovely day and zoom it on my hand. Have a lovely day. Ooh. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. What do you need from me, man? In your case, it's a few minutes or? I don't know, I'm, I'm doing all right. Coffee? I don't know what I need. I need Jesus or something. Yeah, that's a lot of food. That's gonna be impressive. Oh, thank you. There we go. So that was the limit. Yeah. <laughs> I probably got that good enough. All right, let's do that. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.